Good morning, everyone. This is the TradingPub.com Daily Report. I appreciate you tuning in this morning. Real quick, before we get started, I'll give you a quick risk disclaimer. A read-through, we're just sharing our thoughts, not giving any type of advice. Uh, but again, a quick recap of last night, what, what we're going to look at. We'll look at what the S&Ps did overnight. We'll also take a look at the gold market today. And uh, the big news overnight was the passing of Steve Jobs. Passed away last night, uh, so our condolences go out to his family, and uh, just know that he made an incredible contribution uh, in the technology that they produced through Apple Computer, and, and I'm glad to see Apple was actually holding up uh, fairly well this morning, so I was glad to see that, but again, condolences go out to uh, the Jobs family. Just a reminder, our next event at the Trading Pub is going to be tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern. We have a special guest, Craig Cobb from Trade with Precision, is going to cover trade with the day, trading with the day job. And you can register for this event by going to tradingpub.com and clicking on Pub Events. So now let's go ahead and get into the charts, take a look at what the S&Ps did overnight. And as you can see, here's a daily chart. Remember, we talked about the importance of the market being able to take out a previous day high. We'd been in a long, steady downtrend, and you finally saw that yesterday where we took out the previous day's high. We got through that 1120 area and ran up all the way to 1130. We actually had a high in the overnight session around 1150. So let's take a look, uh, break this down to a 30-minute chart. And you can see from yesterday's rally, uh, we had the large spike, remember, two days two days ago, and then we rallied up throughout the Globex, rally continued, and if you look into the Globex tonight, this rally's been pretty steady up until this morning. So you had the Globex open in here around the 33-34 area. You saw the market come down, test 11.30, so 11.30 is going to be a support area that we'll watch. Again, definitely 11.30, then 11.33 to 34 will be another important area, as that was important the previous day. We saw the market rally up to 11.45 initially and sell off, so we'll remember 11.45. We came back down and then we rallied back up and came right up against 11.50. So the numbers to take away from the overnight session are 11.30, 11.33, 11.45, and 11.50 are, are really the big numbers in play. To the downside, we're going to have some support at 11.25, then 11.20, and then 11.16 will be the next big area to watch. So again... 11.25, 11.20, and then 11.16, the next big area to watch. One thing we pointed out yesterday that we felt like uh, we'd seen such a good move in the market over the past couple days that we could be getting into some choppy trading, especially right before non-farm payroll. So keep that in mind that we've got non-farm payroll coming out tomorrow morning at 7.30. So as you get into the afternoon today, I wouldn't be surprised to see some consolidation in the market, let it kind of digest this current move, and then wait for the non-farm payroll announcement. The next thing that I want to focus on is going to be the gold market. You know, what we try to do each day is educate on the S&Ps, look at the overnight market, because most things, most stocks and commodities are going to move with the overnight market. That's why it's so important to understand what those S&Ps are doing. And then the next thing we want to look at is the gold market. So today's market focus is going to be in gold, and gold had had an incredible year. We actually went to new contract highs up around 1900. You saw about a 15% pullback. We had uh, one of our technical analysts at the Trading Pub uh, that came on and talked about gold and said the 1550 area is really a pretty good area to look for. That's the 50% retracement level. He was looking at that as, as a major support level if, if gold could come back and test it. As you see, um, gold's currently at 1635, so it's got a little bit of pulling back to do to get to that uh, special level that our analyst was talking about. And another thing that he pointed out, he said there's pretty good trend line support. If you look at this, you've got a pretty good trend line here off the bottom. Uh, so again, we'll want to keep a close eye on that area, and you can just see where a trend line would be right in here at 1630, 1635. So this is a pretty good support area. What we've seen after the large move down, we saw a nice little bounce, and then we're seeing consolidation and starting to see it try to break out of this range. So again, if we break below this trend line here, then we'll probably look for lower prices and, and see if we can get a test of that 1550 area. If we if the trend line holds, then we'd expect gold to come back to the 1650, 1655 area and kind of stay in that consolidation range until it either breaks the bottom of that trend line or breaks out above 1650, 1655. Hope everyone has a wonderful day, and we look forward to seeing you at the Trading Pub event tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time.